Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, we will see how to use the not in query in SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that we will try to write the queries using the not in operators in SQL Server. So let's jump to the demo. So I got the SQL Server instance here and it contains different databases. So the not in query can be used to filter out the records from the first result set. So suppose you are selecting the data in a query and if you want to filter out some of the records then you can use a not in query for example let me just try to write a very simple query to just return the all the databases on a server so i can write a query here select name from sys dot sys databases okay so if i execute this one so these are the 19 databases those exist on my instance here okay so suppose if you want to filter out the system databases then you can use a not in query here so suppose if i want to just remove the master database tamdb model msdb then i can use the not in query here so i can write a query like where name not in and now i need to write the name of the databases inside this particular bracket so either you can just hard code the name here like master and the second one is the tamdb and the third one is the model and the fourth one is the msdb okay so either you can hard code the databases here or you can write a sub query and you can just get the name of the databases from another table okay so if i execute this query so now it returned the 15 databases so all the system databases got removed from here okay so as i told you either you can just hard code the list here or you can just write a sub query here okay so this is one of the method to use the you know not in query the another scenario can be for example if you want to select the records from one table the records those does not exist in another table so you can use the not in query there as well so suppose if i select the data from the customers table okay so these are the customers and if i select the data from the orders table so these are the orders so if you look at the result set so the customer id this is common between both the tables so if i just want to select the customers from the customers table whose customer id does not exist in the orders table then i can use a not in query so how i will write the query select a star from customers where customer id not in okay and then i can write the sub query here which will select the customer id from the orders table select customer id from orders okay so this particular query the simplest query it will return the records those exist in the customers table but missing from the orders table based on the customer id so if i execute this query then this will return me those particular records okay so this is one of the widely used method here for the not in the another example can be for example if you are selecting the data from another table so suppose if i am selecting the data from the names table so it contains some person's name like dev akil raj sushma okay so if you want to just filter out some of the names then you can use the not in where name not in okay and here either you can just hard code the names or you can just get the names from another table okay so if i hard code the name for example i do not want the dev records to be written then i can just use the dev name here okay and if i execute this query then that particular record will be skipped here so these are the methods to use the not in query and this is one of the widely used query in the sql server yeah and i will share the uh, data from the customers table orders table and i will share these queries with you so that you can test it in your environment as well yeah so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please hit the like button do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.